So I have actually just got back from Isle of Wight Festival. I am so excited for you to see this vlog, um, but I thought I would just do a quick little intro to explain what it's gonna be about. Basically, I wanted to just film me packing and prepping for a festival, um, which is something that I do every time I go away. I'm gonna be hopefully giving you loads of little tips to help cope with those bugbears before you go away. Basically showing you my full-on prep routine from exfoliation to shaving, using my favorite Venus Comfort Glide and the Venus Snap as well, tanning, packing tips, all of it so carry on watching if that sounds like it's up your street good morning guys so this morning i'm feeling a little bit worse for wear as we went out last night for sam's sister's 18th birthday um and we probably got back at about four o'clock so it's not actually the morning now although we've just had breakfast so today my day is going to be dedicated to getting ready for Isle of Wight Festival as we're off there tomorrow and of course I've left everything to the last minute. I mean, I've got all my clothes, I've got all my outfits, I've got everything, I just need to pack it. Me and Sam were in the Lake District over the weekend and we literally like came back, went straight out and now, yeah, today, luckily I have a day to like sort things out. I also need to film a video and just basically I'm just going to prep for festivals. This is what I always do if I like I'm going away or I'm going to a festival or something. I have my list of things I need to do and I'm gonna get them done. Sam is in charge today of all the camping stuff. We brought my parents tent back from the lakes and Sam is just currently in the garden setting it up just to check that everything's okay. He also needs to pop and get us. I completely forgot about sleeping bags, about like mattresses and all of that. So yeah, he's on the that and then we need to get food and drink and stuff. Um, and I'm gonna just pack my own stuff, which is probably gonna take just as long. And I need to like prep my body. I need to shave and tan and all of that malarkey. So I thought I would just film it because um, it's something I do so often and I feel like I've got myself into like a little rhythm and that I can give you tips if you're off on a holiday or to a festival or whatever. So let's go out and see Sam in the garden. His house is so good for light. Like literally look at this bright white. Oh, love it. How are we getting on? <laughs> I think he's just mending a pole. <laughs> So this used to be my grandma's tent actually and I've taken it to a couple of festivals but obviously it's important to check that like it's actually gonna stand up because it would not be good if we got there and uh, our tent was rubbish. How do you feel about Isle of Wight Fest? It's sunny! I know, I hope it stays like this for the weekend. Like, look how nice it is. So I'm just going to head to my second home, aka the Royal Mail Depot, and pick up a couple of festival packages. Um, and then I think I'm going to go and get my nails done. It's so hot in this car. And I'm not complaining because it's lovely weather. Picked up my packages. Guys, what do we reckon? I've gone for a super bright, kind of like peachy, maybe I would say matte color. I just popped to the cash point as well to get money out. Top tip, don't wait until the festival to get money out because they charge you ludicrous amounts, like three, four pounds just to take cash out. And I only ever do it if I like run out of cash there. Now it is time for my pre-festival slash summer holiday ritual. I have this weird thing in my head, I don't know if any of you have it, where everything has to be perfect before I go away, like I have to have fresh nails, fresh tan, shaved legs and all of that. So I do try and keep that up, but I don't spend ages and ages and ages doing it. I found like little methods um, to make things quicker and easier. So first of all, I'm gonna start with shape. Thing. My legs are gonna be out at Isle of Wight, so I'm gonna shave my legs because they really need it. Basically, just want to show you guys my favorite razors that I use. You guys know that I love Venus because I've featured them in so many videos. I've literally converted my whole family. Like my mum, who was the worst with razors, 
she always used to buy rubbish ones she now uses venus razors and her shaving life has never been better got a little shaving shelf as i like to call it stuck on the wall is that sam's actually stuck it really high up but anyway all i have in there let's look are my two favorite venus razors the little venus snap and the venus comfort glide this is the vanilla cream comfort glide replace the head so it is looking fresh like i love 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 this bit i'm actually going to take this one with me to isle of white in its special little pot here so useful for taking like on holiday into festivals for touch-ups on the go just made myself a bowl of halloumi and eating a lot of it I'm gonna put some tunes on and get shaving. So step one is exfoliating before shaving, just to remove all the dead skin and make shaving easier. I'm just using a Sienna X exfoliator. Then I'm taking the Venus Comfort Glide Vanilla Cream, which has these amazing built-in flexible moisture bars, like I mentioned, with extracts of avocado and olive and coconut fruit. No idea what that is, but if it's good for my legs, I will take it. Let's be honest, most of us leave shaving to the last minute. And sometimes this means we can rush it and end up with a horrible rash. But I have literally never, ever, ever had that with this razor. Freak out! Freak out! Freak out! Freak out! <laughs> you just wet your legs and you are good to go. It has more blades, which means less friction and less chance of nicks and cuts. As you can see when I'm doing the dreaded kneecaps. After waiting a while, I'm popping on some fake tan, Bondi Sands Dark Foam, my favourite by the way, all over my body. And then I always sleep in it and wash it off in the morning. Tip number one for packing is to always have a list of everything you need and then go through and tick things off as you pack them. I've included this bit down here if you're camping. Another massive tip is obviously bring power banks with you. So I have this lovely rucksack here. I literally hate these because when you put things in, it's very hard to get stuff that's in the bottom out. So I literally have all my clothes here. I did a massive pretty little thing, I saw it first, an ASOS order um, and I also have some bits from Accessorize in here so I'm going to outfit plan, I'm going to set them all out on the bed and show you guys what I am wearing Outfits are done. I'm so excited now. So let me just talk you through them. First of all, we have a little shirt from Accessorize. I'm gonna wear it with these shorts. Excuse the mess on the floor. <laughs> um, just the denim shorts, not the belt. Um, with these sunglasses, this blue bag. Outfit number two is this rainbow dress. I love this. This is also from Accessorize. Got some tassely detail. Literally, how well does that match my nails? <laughs> Amazing. And they've got this little um, straw bag from them. Some cute little espadrilles. Got such a range. I've got like super girly and then proper tomboy cargo pants. <laughs> so I love these. Like I love this whole look. And I've paired them with a little white top both of them are from pretty little thing this is my outfit for saturday because there's a gold theme for their 50th anniversary which is insane so i got this little top from pretty little thing and this belt to go over these shorts i think these shorts are just boohoo then also from pretty little thing i literally did a huge haul we have some more cargo pants i love this neon orange top i got some matching flares but they are so long I can't even wear them. And then my final outfit is this little dress. It's like a beach dress, but I've just tried it on and I think it's gonna work. 
So yeah, that's also from Accessorize. So let's get these babies packed up and then I gotta get all my glitter and my makeup and stuff together. Okay, so my clothes are all packed in here and there's surprisingly a load of space here on the top. So I think I'm actually gonna fit everything in here. I thought I was gonna have to bring another bag. So it is a bit of a mess at the moment, but I'm just currently getting all my minis together. Minis are so good for festivals and holidays when you only have to take hand luggage. Honestly, I collect them. I have a huge box of them and I just always go into that box whenever I am off to a festival because obviously you don't want things to be heavy so you don't want to be taking full-size products dry shampoo is definitely a must and I'm gonna bring a big one mini little hairspray here as well and also my favorite thing to bring with me is a hair oil this is just one from Lee Stafford it's really really nice it's a coconut one also in terms of hair brushes I'll always bring a tangle teaser because it's like the smallest one and probably my favorite hairbrush okay so this is my festival bag of glitter and yes i'm gonna take it all with me because i'm not sure what color i'm gonna be feeling basically another top tip for packing is to gather all your glitters and your gems in one place so have like a festival box or have like a holiday box of bits and bobs you can just quickly pack if you're in a rush in here i have all my gems so i've got a glitter kit and then like some face gems some body gems and I need to gather all my sunglasses together because I've got some in there as well. Another top tip when you're staying at hotels, if they give out these little kits of toothbrushes and Too Faced, they're perfect to take to festivals with you. I've also brought like another little mini Too Faced in case Sam needs one. However, if you don't have access to water, although you could still bring water with you to festivals, you could bring something like this, like a mini mouthwash. Also bringing a roll on deodorant instead of a spray. Deodorant is usually smaller and more compact. And finally, I have my little Venus snap in its little case. How cute is this? This is honestly my favorite Venus razor just because it's so good to take away with you. And I love that it comes in this little compact case. So you don't have to worry about the blades catching on anything. It has the same blade technology as all the other Venus razors. So it's just as good. And the little handle is really nice. Let me show you. Oh, looking it matches my nails, this one it's orange um this handle just makes it so much easier to use and it also has a moisture glide ribbon this blue thing here which means you can just wet it and you can have a smooth shave wherever you are in the world in the country in the middle of a field when it comes to makeup for going away i can pack really light um so i'm gonna whittle my makeup bag and my makeup brushes down and i'm only gonna bring two palettes with me i'm gonna bring this neutral one from mac and also this amazing glitter one from Too Faced, how beautiful is that? Definitely gonna change this up because that's a heavy powder. If you wanna know exactly what's in this bag, watch my um, I'm Back video where I literally go through like putting all these on my face. How cute are all these minis? Oh my God. So we have a mini NARS Orgasm Blush, my favorite mascara fully charged, a mini Benefit Hula with my initials on, Buxom lip gloss, this is incredible, and then my little Smashbox primer. I also really wanted to find some like chromey, fun lip glosses. <laughs> so I'm in my drawer of funky lip glosses. I'm gonna sift through and see what I can find. Just a few. <laughs> They're all so sparkly, I love them so much. I got like a range of different colors. And we are all packed and ready to go. Not gonna lie guys, I am absolutely knackered. I feel like because this is the first proper festival I'm going to this year. I went to Common People, which was literally just a day one. My packing game has been so slow. By the end of the summer, I am gonna be a pro at this. I'm gonna get back into the swing of things. But I really hope you enjoy enjoyed this kind of video i hope it's helped if you are off to any festivals or holidays or whatever you need the kind of planning tips for it feels so nice to be like shaved and fake tanned and when i wash this fake tan off in the morning it's gonna feel even better so our ferry is not till half three tomorrow so luckily we have time in the morning for some last minute bits and bobs <laughs> so i've actually realized this evening that he left the tent at his up in his garden he never actually took it down and brought it here so at least we've realized now and not when we got to the festival because that did actually happen to me and my friend elena one year when we went over to festival luckily we crashed with her friends so yeah do give this video a thumbs up if you did like it let me know if you want me to do any more packing with me 
um, prep videos. And I will see you in my next vlog, which will be of the festival. Yay! See you there.